There you go. Congratulations, soldier. You've been selected to pilot our state-of-the-art D-54 stealth vehicle with quantum res- Press R multiple times so you can squeeze past these rocks. Good job, soldier. Press O to reset your car. Press the escape key to yeah, restart or leave loud. the level at any time. Press N to look Press behind you. Excellent work, soldier. Press O to reset your car. Press C. The D-54 can also grow. Press Q to When you drive onto a monument, it will become a spawn bar, which you can then teleport to by pressing the corresponding number key. If you activate all five spawn points, a portal to another dimension will open. We've gathered them here. This Go is, ahead and activate all of them. This is patch 2.2.0, which is the most recent one as I'm recording this, which I suppose is good to know. Okay, it worked. Now lit. Amazing. I was really less than one minute, but I clicked a bit late. Yeah, we can't get up there yet. I like have sort of a route, but not gonna necessarily say it is the most optimized, amazing option. However, this is the first speedrun of this game, as far as I know. So pretty sure I'm going to get world record. It's a very bouncy car. That was bad. Almost there. Nice music.
a lot easier to control your momentum once you get the speed crystal. Which is why it's the next thing I'm gonna go for. I just have to be able to drive underwater first. This takes the average person half an hour to do the Mish village, so I feel like I'm gonna get it done in 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes. So I think that's good. Speed strats. The trick is to not fall in the water in here, because if you do the run's pretty much over. Because you die and respawn. So it's good that I intentionally chose the default card to look cool. So I like how it looks. I have other things that I also like looking at, but the default card intentionally looks pretty awesome. So I don't have to worry about stuff. Okay, activated that. Oh, so you puny. She just says hell as you walk by. Alright. Speed chats. Definitely gonna get under 10 minutes for this. Because, you know, it's right there. If I can control the dang car. Oh, come on! <laughs> come on! Okay. Off to fresher waters. <laughs> Next thing I'm going for, as you can see by my list, is straight for the speed crystal. this way. Um, I might cut through land to save time. Hopefully I won't run into trees. I meant to go around this peninsula. I, I need to get to these mountains here, but I meant to come from the other side, not the right side. Or like I'm coming from the north, I wanted to come from the south, you know. Okay. Okay. So. We are going to go around. Ooh, that's a lot of momentum right there. Alright. We are gonna. Nice music. Try to go. I guess I can go through a little bit. We'll see. We'll see what happens. If I get the speed crystal before 10 minutes, it'll be amazing. Oof. Well, <laughs> not happening. <laughs> okay, so, the speed crystal, which also is going to... It doesn't just make you faster, it makes it easier to control the car, and you have a lot of downforce, so you can kind of drive on the side of walls that are very steep. Almost like anti-gravity, sort of. 
and um, there's less motion blur. So the game just kind of feels nicer once you've got the uh, power crystal as well. So it's definitely a good thing to go for as soon as possible, uh, which is right now for us. Um, okay. I believe it is in this little chunk right here. It might be a bit east of it. I don't totally remember. <laughs> but it's there. And soon it will be ours. I'm not even supposed to know about it yet. You learn about it when you're uh, talking to the frivets in their castle. But you can get it before you talk to the frivets in their castle. Um, which obviously is advantageous because it makes you faster. So then you can get to the castle faster. You can do the quest faster because you have to go to a nearby town. Um, and obviously being able to drive faster makes it easier. Kind of ironic that the thing that makes you able to drive up mountains, um, you have to find among a lot of mountains. <laughs> but hey, that means it's hard to get to it, but once we get to it, we'll get out very easily. This reminds me of Minecraft music. I see it. I know where it is. It's right, it's that right there. I don't know if you can see my mouse. Uh, I'll put it right in the middle of the screen and then wait for the stream to update and see if you can. Oh, yes, you can. Okay. Good, good. So you saw what I pointed at. You gotta get right there. Um, probably this way. Yes, that looks good. That looks very promising. The ability to launch in the air is also very helpful, but that we are not gonna get until after the frivets, just because the frivets is a very convenient Frivet. spot point. Got it! Alright. Now we are rolling. Got one of our main movement abilities. That is also a check off the thing. I keep forgetting to click it. That's okay. Ouch. Alright, I'm just gonna straight see how I just stick to the mountain as I go down. It's really nice. Alright, I'm gonna go straight through the water to that castle in the distance. That's the Fribbit castle. Didn't mean to resurface yet. That's okay. We've got the crystal, so it doesn't really matter. See that little cage right there? It looks awesome on the map. I think the castles look great on the map. I'm really happy with how the stuff turned out on the map. Woohoo! Ah! Uh, that was a waste of time. Okay, there we go. There's the cage. As far as I know, there's no way to glitch into that cage. As the developer of the game, I did my best to not make that possible. However, boy, it would be an awesome skip for this speedrun. If you could find a way to ram into the cage and activate, because you could. The portal is in there. You could activate. I mean, Bring doing it. this um, just... I didn't have to talk to him. I could just go straight and get the thing. I forgot about that. Like, the mice I had to talk to to activate the quest, but I guess I didn't. If I could ram into that and get the thing to activate, that would save me a lot Fribbit. of time, but I don't think I can do that. Fribbit. But if someone figures out a way, they will easily beat this world record for sure. Well, not for sure, because I know my way around this map, having made it. So good luck um, beating me just because I have the sheer knowledge and have played this game many times. That skill. See how I lowered my size right there. All right, we're going for. Uh, I just ran into 
that. Oops. Get your momentum built back up. This game's all about momentum. Alright, so we are going for uh, the little circle on the map, which I kind of need to pay attention so I can't totally show you. But basically, uh, there is a little circle, and it kind of went a little far to the right. Um, and these circles, uh, it's like right there. Uh, these circles kind of denote they're the customization stations, but they're all near villages. And the um, one of the frivets in the castle that we didn't even talk to um, tells us that some monkey stole uh, the stuff, stole the blueprints um, for their amazing weapon, and ran to a castle exactly southeast, um, or ran to a village exactly southeast. And so we're looking for a village. And again, it is easy to know where the villages are because you can see the little things on the map. Now this is a village, but this is not the one we want. We actually want the one that corresponds to this dude. Um, which I keep running into trees because I'm showing you. See what you've made me do. Alright. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Yet. No, it's not. Here, here. You've unlocked okay. some new materials in loot. the loot menu. Just because while well, I'm here, might as well. I need my map again. Okay. It is this direction. Definitely, I'm screwing this up a bit. It was. N Wait, was it actually the further one? Oh, it was. I was bamboozled. I just went the wrong way. Well, no wonder. I'm bad. <laughs> Alright. It was not this one, but it was the one that I skipped past that was before this one. It is this one. It's in here. I'm a fool. I gotta stop jumping right before I exit the circle. I just like to show off that I know where the exits are. Alright. Yep, there's two mice that tells you it's an unusual village because he has the blueprints, which we now have. And then we go back to the Frivet Castle and get our second monument. so fast. Okay. Sonic speed. That's that's right. Alright, now we talk to the dude. Let's try to beat 20 minutes for this monument. Great, so he opened that up. Yeah, try to beat 20 minutes. Yeah, try to walk like 5 inches in a minute and a half. Definitely good. Frivet. And got it. Nope, I activated the thing, but I am a fool because I cannot collect. Okay, there we go. Collecting the thing. I hate to skip that box, but there's no reason to get it when you're speed running. We'll never stop to customize. Alright. Now we are headed to the Gentle Giants. Uh, which are also known as the Ocean Giants. Or if you want to be real clever, you can call them the Gentle Ocean Giants. Which is all of the stuff. And that is to this way. Ouch, that, that was a tree. Hello, tree. Mr. Tree. And yes, the, uh, while the crystal seems optional, Although highly good, um, it is in a way required because you need to 
get up a really rough mountain to get to the robots. That's uh, supposed to be the hardest uh, challenge of the game. And you basically, there's a fribbit there even telling you you should go back and get the crystal if you don't have it yet because, like, you know, come on. Um, I think it's above this. But if I'm wrong, this is going to be horrible. Um, I think I'm wrong. I think it's below this. I don't remember, but I think it's below this. It's in the water. As I said, there are ocean giants. It is literally in the water. Just gotta explore, man. If I miss it, will I go on to do the monkeys? Um, no, because having the launch ability is helpful. Immensely helpful. Well, not that helpful, but like, it's a good thing to have. Come on. I know it's around here. I think it's around here. Might have been above. In which case, boy, this is not a very optimized run. I'll probably do another better one in the future. <laughs> Ooh, promising. Very promising. Maybe? This could just be a random blip in the ocean. Are we near a landmass? We're not near a landmass. Is that actually a random blip? I think that was a random blip. Seriously? Yes, yeah, not here. I think I went the wrong way. Me and going the wrong way, man. Yeah, I thought I was thinking it was above. Man, I lost too much time. See how I can stick to the wall? That's the downforce you get from the, uh, whatever this thing is, speed crystal. Very good, very nice. This would be a nice time to have the thing I'm actually trying to unlock because it shoots you up into the air, but that's okay. Probably wouldn't have, didn't need it anyway. All right, I'm just cutting over this whole thing. Is this this is a lake within it, or is this the no? This is the actual thing. Oh come on! Speed crystal coding wise uh, push it increases your uh, down thrust to max and increases your. Um, I was just clicking the wrong button. I'm like, why won't the map open? Um, and increases your top speed to max. So you just accelerate more, you stick to things, more friction, better handling somehow. I literally always come across 
the gentle giants just like by accident and then this one time I can't even find them on purpose how embarrassing I was right and they're below. So angry. Not really, but like a little peeved. I'm a little peeved. <laughs> Pretty much we just lost time. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just wasted like 10 minutes. <laughs> Which is like a third of the run. <laughs> yeah. Gotta get a personal best out there before you can start really working at it. <gasps> there it is. Okay, where is it on the map? It is... Like, before you even get there. Okay. Now we gotta infiltrate this thing. Which is basically just use the crystal. In our lovely case. everything in. Alright. We're golden. They're just gonna give, basically give us the new power. Because they're so nice, that's the joke. Really bad. Good morning, Red. Good morning, Red. Hey! We'd like an upgrade to your car? There it is. Nope, that's a chest. I don't want the box. I want the actual victory. There it is. And got it. Back to two. Give 30 seconds. Or I mean 30 minutes. Ribbit. Look how much we've achieved in 30 minutes. And now we have this. Which is useful. Not as useful as a crystal, but still useful. Alright, now... 
Actually, I feel like I should do the monkeys first. Because if I die on the robots, although that's pretty unlikely, I'll have a nice teleport from the monkey to get back there. So I'm actually might swap them. Problem is we're mid run. But that's fine. I'm gonna swap them. We'll just, you know, consider them swapped, basically. Well the monkeys takes a while. I don't know, man. I might, I'll do the robots. I'll do it in the order I already chose. I just did this order kind of arbitrarily, not really. I knew I wanted the speed crystal as fast as possible. Followed by the Forbit Monument. I mean, you have to do the Mish Monument first. Because you can't drive underwater without it. Then you want the speed crystal. And then the Forbit Monument is just like a good teleporting point for literally everything. It's very central of the five teleporting points. Like the first one's kind of useless, it's not near anything. The second one is the closest one to the gentle giants. The gentle giants are in a pit, so it's a lot of work to teleport from the gentle giants and go anywhere because you have to get out of the pit. The monkeys have kind of a convenient teleport for the robots, which is why I'm like, maybe I should do them first. But generally I go to everything from the um, second spot and the final portal you can get pretty conveniently from from the fribbits but you want the gentle giants because they also give you the new movement ability all right where are we I'm not sure I zoned out all right we're below monkey which is even further below the actual thing. I could like, you know what I could do? I could pick up a banana and drop it off at one of the far, uh, like annoying, far away spots on my way. I could do like half of one key. I might do that. And then do robot while I'm up there. And then do the bottom of monkey. Unless I'm like just straight up gonna miss my kill to get another there. Wait. I don't even know where I am. <laughs> I don't remember where I am. So I might just end up near a robot before I'm near anything else. Okay, those are the squirmy things. So we are very north of Monkey actually. Which means I'm gonna just bag that whole idea and go straight for the robots. Ooh, spin out. This is a very fun game to speedrun, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not too into speedrunning, and I know I made it, so it's like, oh, he's so biased. But. I also made experimental miniaturization gun, which already has the speedrun set up on uh, game on uh, speedrun.com, and that's kind of fun. But like, this is way more fun. Although this game, in general, in my opinion, is a lot more fun than experimental miniaturization gun, which also has quite the mouthful of a name. We that was kind of dumb. <laughs> oh, actually, it worked out. After you jump, there's a small cooldown, which is why I have to wait a second before I can turn on my speed boost. Otherwise, if you are at the top of your arc in the air and you use the speed boost, you could like clip into the ground at a million miles per hour and it was crazy. And crash the game until I made a way so that it wouldn't crash the game. And then I was like, you know what? Why don't I add a cooldown so you just can't do it at all? Because <laughs> it's still not great. Woohoo! So fun. This is Robot Island. 
or peninsula. Research this. Ah, oh, that's rocks. Okay. Crisis averted. Gotta get all the way to the back. Stupid rock. No. Like to do one smaller than the default. Okay, you see that massive mountain in the background? That's what we're trying to get up. Now it's not as easy as just powering up it in this pot with this power crystal, because the mountain is uh, it looks kind of Minecrafty. It's kind of neat, um, but you can't use this power crystal to just go straight up a vertical wall. Um, and because it's so Minecrafty looking, that by that I mean it has a lot of vertical walls. So we have to find a spot, um, and there's a few spots. My particular favorite is one pretty left, uh, like the closest one that I think can be gone up, although it's a little harder, is super to the left of the robot castle. Also, once we get to the robot castle, there are robot guards, and if they look at you, you die and respawn, so it's very dangerous, but pretty worth it, because the robot AI is pretty stupid. It doesn't usually actually look at you. Um, the last time I went there, the robot was like just checking out like the side of the door instead of me, and I just went right by. All right, so we want a this kind of this area. I have a lot of momentum. Can I use it? I don't know. Nope, it's all gone. <laughs> Immediately lost all the momentum. All right. Um, going up here, going up here, boop, 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 that's what that's useful for, you're stuck, alright, now we have so many good movement abilities, alright, we want to get up on that side. I think this way is a good way to do that. There might be one further to the right, I'm not totally sure, but we want to be basically up on that top level. Not the very top level, like up one level from where we currently are. Basically. Literally. Figuratively. We just want to figuratively be like a spiritual level above where we are. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> okay, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> it's fine. Unless it's not fine, because we are stuck on this wall. There we go. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I was just like earlier, I was just like, we can never get stuck again with all these movement abilities, then I get stuck. Alright. But we're good. We are not permanently stuck, and we were not stuck for long. Whoop! Uh, oh, that was so awesome! Okay. Now, we've got to go left. That didn't work super well. Well, it worked a little well. Utilize that stick. Boy, this looks stupid. <laughs> Look at him. Look at this little car. Okay. This looks really steep. I don't think I can get up it unless I can boost like that. Hold. Hold your ground so I can get a new boost. Yes. Okay, that didn't help. Hold your ground.
Ooh, that is good. There we go. That is good stuff. The boost does something a little different if you have the uh, thing activated when you use it. Okay. But it always pushes you upward. Where's why it works for something like this? Go! Not happening. Okay. Sometimes it totally kills your momentum too, and then you're. Then it's a little rough. Okay, new strategy. Where are we? Okay. We want to. Uh, get away from this wall a little bit. Well, the ground we're on kind of pushes us towards it. There we go. Alright. Something worth thinking about first before doing anything rash. Boop. Ooh, that worked pretty well. That worked less well. That did not work well. Okay. It's okay. It's all good. I feel like that way was like a, a dead end anyway. No! Oh, hold. Yes! <laughs> okay. And that is the art of sticking to the wall using the crystal. <laughs> I don't want to fall off from here. So we've made some good progress now. Man, last time I went up this, I didn't even use my launch into the air at all. I don't know why. That was really dumb. It took me forever because I was just using the crystal stick and nothing else. But this is quite helpful. Okay. Now we're up here. This is like Breath of the Wild where it's like the walls tell you to do something, but the insane uh, mechanics for movement say, or I could do whatever I want. <laughs> I don't want to fall off, I just wanted to get out of that predicament. Okay, good. This configuration makes your wheels bigger and closer together, and it helps with getting up terrain, I found, personally. Got this nice lock into place. Just gonna make my way up. That did not help. <laughs> is there a faster, better, is there a less steep way? Yes. Sticking to the side is, I think, how I did it last time. See why the robots take a lot of finagling. Just getting up here. Alright, yeah, this is what I did last time. Except I didn't use the boost, so it took way longer. <laughs> Look, it's like less steep and you can stick. Almost there. 
Come on, tires, break. There we go. Come on, <laughs> come on. Okay. I think we made it. That was that was the hard part. I think that was the hardest part of the game. Nope, there's one more. But we're almost there. Okay, next up is the glorious leap of faith. Um, which was not right there. <laughs> this is fine. This is not fine. This is less than fine. This is fine. Okay. That was fine. Where are we? Okay, we want to go on that platform to the left a little bit. Okay. <laughs> it's terrifying when you can't see what's in there. Just going backwards, I guess. <laughs> there we go. All right. Take a breather. We want to go in a direction this way. No. This way, but to the other direction. So this way. <laughs> like driving forward when I'm driving into a tree. Yeah, literally this way. Okay. Leap of faith. <laughs> the leap of faith failed. No, it didn't. <laughs> we did it. It looks like you fall so far, but really that's what you want. You want to be on this area. Okay. Now, now we're going to the default car. Avoid any robots. I do not remember if there are robots outside of the castle. I think there used to be a lot. And drones and stuff, okay. <laughs> there used to be a lot in drones and stuff, but they were removed for lag per for less lag. Um, and also because, you know, you don't want to just die after all that work. Um, Alright. Almost looking at the map is like almost safer than just driving. Okay, now. We're almost there. Are we going to be 50 minutes? I don't know. We might, but I'm not going to rush it. I'm going to be very careful, because falling down would suck. Would suck quite a bit. Like right there. Almost fell. See? I, almost, I baited you. you <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like get scared when I have so much momentum. And we just flew into a tree. That's fine. We want to go this way. I'm not going to say 50 minutes, but we're going to get there before one hour. Maybe 50 minutes. But you'll be a little chill about it. Okay. Inch, inch. I like see the edge and I f just fill with adrenaline and fear. Alright, alright. Here we go. Off we go. To victory. Feel a little more comfortable in a good area. I haven't even shown you guys what I'm trying to get to, but there's basically, um, if you like had looked around the mountain, you would have seen, or if I had and you were watching, you would have seen, yeah, we're not going to get there in 50. Um, yeah, you would see that on the far right. This, uh, this. Ow. <laughs> drive, drive. 30 seconds. It's not gonna happen. I'll try, but it's not gonna happen. It's too far away. Oh, I forgot there was a city here. I, like, always want to explore the cities, but... Or villages, but... We're just using them to cut through, I guess. 
You cannot look at your map while you're in a village. Fun fact. Gotta be in the car. The map is in the front seat. Alright. Check out these sweet moves as I inch in there. Alright, just that tree is just gonna block my eyes. Yep, we missed 50. It's okay. We'll get there before an hour. Hashtag beating one hour. We're not gonna beat the game in one hour, but we're gonna be down to our last monument, which is the most tedious monument. I shouldn't say tedious, that makes it sound like it's not fun. It is so much fun. <laughs> Carrying bananas to monkeys. Oh my god, I had a lot of momentum. <laughs> I just like, sorry for making that sound every time, I just get so scared. Alright. Yeah, that was a reminder to not get comfortable. We're not there yet. Speaking of, not being there yet. Okay, let's just like stop for a second. Okay. Here we are. Now let's see if the RNG gods have helped us. And the robot is not doing a good job guarding. He is he's nearby, but he's looking he's looking the wrong way. Go, go, go. Going for it. I'm in. There's more robots on the inside. That's what it Got it. Got it. To two. Final monument, let's go. Ribbit. Your game is beat after this. I mean, you can look up, you can find a bunch of customization options. Um, you, no, they're not like you buy them. You just buy the game and that's good enough for me. But, like, you uh, you can find 25, like, Easter eggs. We found one in this playthrough. And there's also, like, a second one that is basically a gimme that we didn't pick up. That was right next to us. Um, there's a few gimmies. We passed, like, a bunch. There were a bunch where I was like, yeah, I know there's one there, but I'm not going to get it. Um, cause that would defeat the speed. Alright, so we want to go. And yes, it could theoretically be faster going from the Gentle Giant Monument, cause we're going that way anyway. But again, we're gonna be, um, in a pit. And that's not great. Oh god, I don't go in the pit. That would defeat the point. That's the whole point. Don't go in the pit. <laughs> See, I told you, I always just like come across it by accident, and then the one time I'm looking for it for a speed run, I waste 10 minutes. We could be at 42 minutes right now. I don't know if I wasted a full 10 minutes, but you know, I wasted some time. Okay, we want to go a little bit south now. Off we go to victory. There it is. This little island. That's what we're going for. Very peaceful. Being underwater. No music. Just chill. So deep I can't even go to the top. Oh, I just totally screwed up my path. Oh, I'm going backwards. No! See, that's another thing. That's why I say the, the thing, uh, the crystal gives you good handling. Because you have so much downforce and traction that you don't, like, skid out. Alright, resurfacing. In 10, 9, not, not at this rate. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, resurfacing in 3, 2, 1. Resurfacing. Okay. Speed strap. Not really. That was that. <laughs> anything that was slower. Give me that banana. 
there's another one of those freebies, but I'm not gonna grab it. I don't have time. So as you can see, if you look briefly behind me now, um, there's the monuments there, but it's completely destroyed. So we're gonna deliver some bananas. Two of them are really close, two of them are kind of far away, but they're all on this island. I'm gonna do the close ones and then the far away ones, I guess. It doesn't really matter, because either way, I have to go back to the island to activate the monument. So it's just, and I have to go back to the monument to get the bananas again. They take your banana, then you have to get a new one. We've almost hit an hour. How cool is that? I feel bad I wasted 10 minutes on, or like six minutes on just forgetting where the gentle giants were. But I got up to the robots. That was like the fastest I've gotten to the robots. So, you know, I have that. Ow, that's a tree. concerning. <laughs> you know, sometimes that's just how it be. The important thing is, the Monkey King should be in his right spot, even if they are not. Yes, he is. I say that's yeah, a these dudes are too, for some reason. Okay. I don't know why. I'll, I'll, I'll fix that in a future patch. Probably. It's not really a big deal though. <laughs> no, okay. So he's got his banana. Now go get another banana. The speed at which I click the button is so fast. Okay. day when the game's beaten in under an hour but dare I say I do not think I'm going to do this in the next two minutes <laughs> I don't think I'm even gonna get the next one piece in the next two minutes but we'll try see that was pretty fast that was pretty good see so now we have the one thing that the guy gave us now we need another banana and we're on our way It used to be that the banana would disappear when you took it and then respawn after you used it, but I kind of, and then like, I kind of glitched that out and it stopped disappearing. I was going to go in and fix it, but then I was like, actually, I think it looks better that you just kind of feel like you're taking one from the infinite stash. Um, so I'm leaving it, I left it that way, but I did make it so that you cannot take one after you've completed the monkey quest, so you don't just accidentally have a banana that you can't get rid of on your car for eternity. Another thing that was in the, um, that was kind of a mistake, but cool, was that we had, I had a, uh, I fixed the underwater effects, um, in a recent patch, a couple, couple, couple ago, and, um, I accidentally put underwater effects on during the menu and that's why the menu's blue and has those little blue sprites in there and stuff and I was like this actually looks dope so I just intentionally kept it look at this look at us we just got a stupid banana on our car all right 
Off we go. There's the next castle. So these are the two close ones. And then the two far ones will be next. And it's been one hour. Woohoo. Hello, Adi. Welcome back. Whoa. <laughs> Are you streaming? Yes. And I'm speed running to see uh, how fast. I spent like, I wasted like somewhere between six and ten minutes. Ah! There are 87 people watching you. Uh, no. No. <laughs> There's one person watching you. Oh, what's 87? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but there are not 87 people watching you. That'd be cool, though. Can I respond? Um, like I said, oh, you said yeah. that. Damn. <laughs> it's all over. But yeah, sure, go ahead. Respond to... Yourself. Yourself. To myself. Well, you're, it's you typing and you're responding to me. I sh Yeah, you say. I am... record speed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because it's the first one. I like it. Even though I spent ten minutes forgetting where something was, so I was just... <laughs> like, wait, where is this? <laughs> and I came across it by accident a bunch of times. By accident, too. Um, okay. It's like advertising. <laughs> um, well, I'm actually gonna open up... I have one game on speedrun.com, which is kind of like the go-to. That's where all world records are kind of held. Um, and so I'm going to put this game on speedrun as well, but it needs, you know, at least one speedrun to, uh, and maybe, apply. Maybe someone would see it. Yes. And be like, wow, that's a sick game. Why yeah. don't I speedrun it? Yeah, especially and when they're like, wow, that Barack person. Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> especially when that per when Barack Obama's like, wow, he spent 10 minutes wasting time. I could totally <laughs> break that record. Exactly. That person beats it in a whole hour. So it's like Breath of the Wild. It's like a huge, long, massive world. But I'm on the last monument. And I'm literally, like, exactly 50% done with it. Actually, technically I'm on the fourth monument. I did the fifth one already. I did the robot one. The AI was fortunately being stupid again. So I snuck past him. You almost died. No. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh, you got the water. Yes. Once you beat the first area, which you did beat, you can go in the water. You beat the first area, and yeah, then you were like, it's been half an hour. So it took you half an hour to beat the first monument. It took me seven minutes and 19 seconds, and I was past the first monument, and that's including doing the tutorial. Banana. Um, basically, the uh, monument, you know how the monument, I don't know if you like kind of saw briefly, but it's like four thingies that I'll shoot to the center. Um, but there are four like giant monkey kings that each ripped out a monument as their staff. So you have to find all of them and if you talk to them and you don't have a banana, they're like, I, would, I wouldn't give you my staff unless I traded it for something. But if you have a banana, they give you the staff for the banana. And if you talk to them again after they already gave you the staff, they're like, mmm, banana. Which is kind of funny. And once I, I've got two, and now I'm going for my third one. And then once I get the fourth one, the portal will open and I'll beat the game. I 
I will beat the game again. Although much faster than I did last time. Because last time, I did spend like half an hour. Interesting stuff. The amount of trees I've just rammed into at full speed. Also, Adi, remember how I spent like an hour trying to get up to that robot when I was playing it yesterday? Sure. Remember, I was like, I was like trying to get up that mountain. Yeah. At that time, I had access to this and did not use it. <laughs> and then this time, I was doing it, and I was like, wait, <laughs> I can just fly up the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> Just, so oh wow, what's, how do you record that you pass it? Um, do you pass a button? Yeah, I, this button. How do you like undo if you mess up? Um, I don't know. I'm not super good with the software. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just know how to click. <laughs> if you reach over and click the button, I'll be so sad. Um, hmm. Yeah. I think there's another hotkey to like undo. Yeah. But I don't remember what it is. I didn't set it. <laughs> How big the banana is.
war demonetized. <laughs> Your video has been claimed for singing one second of a song. Literally all of my parody videos, which technically fall under parody, fair use from like a long time ago, are copyright claimed. I get a random notification every once in a while that like a new one's been claimed. And it's like, enjoy your zero dollars, because like, they don't get views much anymore. <laughs> they got thousands when they came out, but like, no one watches them now. Probably. I don't know, maybe someone does. been the optimal solution. Or maybe it was. There we go. We're in. Oh, no, we're not. There's more. But it's okay, because we have the boost. Oh, my God. Right before the end. It's going to be fine. We pause. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. We, we very... I did not know what happened. We very briefly hit the... We just gotta... Yes. Yes, first person controller for the win. The first person controller can do anything. Alright. Check it out, I'm gonna cheese this. Ah, uh, and then... Did you see that? See that speedrun strat? I jumped in from a weird angle, so I could go real fast. Mm, banana! This it was definitely worth it. It's very nice. It's my favorite voice line. Okay. I have one more. And then it's sweet victory. Hmm. Who's watching? You. Does that include yourself? No. Problem is, it's like, you know, <laughs> goodbye. Is that good? Uh, I just like, kind of just <laughs> was like flying. I'm like, I'm just gonna wait until I get back. Thing is, like, no one's, no one that, like, hasn't followed me is gonna f come across this because it's not a game that they would search. It's not like, this game's not like integrated into the Twitch search engine yet. Although, once it's on speedrun.com, it might be. Because speedrun has a lot of things it integrates into. Did you get your gift card yet? I can't wait. I hope it's a thousand dollars. I hope it's twenty-five dollars <laughs> Kohl's. <laughs> Kohl's gift card? Yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't. Something like useful but the not exciting. That is not the reason I'm excited. <laughs> Why are you excited? I don't know. That's cool. <laughs> Free anything's pretty cool. No, I'm just saying because I get to put on my resume now. Ah. Uh. That you made something that didn't work. I'll make it work. We're gonna, have, Richard and I. Now that we won, we're gonna fix it up. I don't know how you're gonna get a website to run work. HTML and Python. It already does. How? Um, by using something called 
It does. It, it uses it, but for some reason our results are a little weird, and I think it's because of the way I'm saving the dictionaries and whatever, but whatever. Huh. But um, it uses Flask. Ooh. Basically, I can show you if you want to see. Sure. It runs when you're done, I guess. I mean, you can like pull it up and then while I'm speedrunning. I mean, like some at this point, I'm just like underwater for a while. If you're interested, I could try to help you with it because we literally spent hours and hours on it, and now I think I have a okay understanding of how it works. Nice. But so basically, are you gonna buy a URL? Um, I don't know. Although, if you buy a domain, someone has a free domain that I might use. What? Oh, I don't know why, but he has like from some hackathon. He has a free domain. <laughs> that was his prize. Yeah. That'd be a cool prize. It wasn't if a prize. It was just given out for free. Oh. All right. So you go. Domains here. are worth like a thousand dollars. How did he get one for free? Um. <laughs> here. Is it a dot com? This is not. Is the free domain? Yeah, I think it is. Seriously, that's like at least like a hundred dollars. I don't know how it works. Um, only offered it to me, hmm. but it's not. I don't know how it works. So it might be like um a website that that hosts other. Yeah, I doubt it's oppositesattract.com yeah. yeah. though. Sure. What if it was? That'd be so amazing. So I think one, two is what you type in. Yeah. That's my IP address. That's the local IP address. This is true. Colon five thousand. There it is. Now this is all screwed up, but that's because. We made some bad changes, but this is it. This is about page. Cool. Contact page, homepage. You make a profile. Looks pretty nice. It does. You put in all your answers, and then you press submit and get ready for the awfulness. What? We didn't have time to format this or CSS it. Oh. But look, so you say gender male, preferred gender, male, age, blank, preferred age, 18 to 21, height, preferred height, 0 to 60. So, oh, it's since it's opposites, you write all the things you want, and then they give you someone who matches none of them? Yeah, so now opposite <laughs> is... <laughs> so, so when you're like, prefers male, it gives you only women. <laughs> well, yes. We actually did make it that it's within your age range, and um, and it's your this is the correct gender. Because you should make it the opposite of the correct gender and age. No, because otherwise... <laughs> It becomes like really useless. <laughs> really, <laughs> this you only time, want it to be kind of. When useless. I presented, I kind of played it off as like, "Well, everyone knows that dating apps don't always work," <laughs> so we decided to go for an opposite approach. I love how everything you make, you're like, you're really trying to sell it, but then to me behind the scenes, you're like, "This is trash." <laughs> no, but it's not trash. It's to be a joke. We we also submit it yeah. in the funny section. We uh, submitted two points. We did Valentine's and funny, and we tried to see what happened. But see, nice. this is Jane. She's female. She's Ooh. 19, so within his age range. Ooh. Her religion value is 1. What does that mean? It means that this part is really buggy. So... <laughs> <laughs> her religion is 1. <laughs> and her, the importance of that religion is Buddhist. <laughs> the importance is Buddhist. <laughs> Interesting. So then how about if someone says that they want to be dating someone who's the same religion as them, do you intentionally give them a totally different religion? Yeah. Why? Because I wanted it to be like a funny thing that like, that there's like a Buddhist um, monk <laughs> that's dating a fundamentalist Christian or like, or like a hardcore atheist or something. It's really funny. A hardcore atheist. <laughs> yeah, I, that's, why, that's why those things are opposite. It's like, do you want your partner to be messy or neat? Wait, so you ask them what they want their partner to be and you give them the opposite? <laughs> I thought it was you ask what you are and then you get the opposite. No. Like you you get the opposite of what you want? Well, um, <laughs> well, there are different modes. So there are three methods in our profile class. One of them is opposite, it's one of them is rock. called worst match, and one of them is friend zone. Oof. Friend zone <laughs> is someone who would like you, but you hate them. Who <laughs> would like you, but you hate them. So you put them in the friend zone. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> Very nice. Um, but those are our things. But I'm gonna try to fix it a little. Bit. <laughs> they would like you, but you'd hate them. <laughs> um. Yeah, I want to try to make it okay. 
What would be... What would be even better is instead if you just gave people a list of people that they like but would hate and have that be the friend zone list. So it's not like you have this list of people who like you in case you, you know, can't find someone. Rather, you have this list of people who are perfect for you who would never date you. That would be funny, actually. <laughs> These people would, would, would hate you, but they're perfect for you. I'm going to start crushing some stuff. Just put some ads on the website. Get three dollars after yeah. a million uses. You make it look nice. <laughs> make it look nice, and then cover it with ads after it looks nice. <laughs> See, I, could have, I didn't spend much time like by myself like, thinking about certain things. Code one of those nice website things where it's like you're not allowed to make a profile until you disable ad block. <laughs> really, uh. Really push the profit. <laughs> like, obnoxiously so. Okay. But yeah, that's cool. It's also the kind of thing where, like, two people who are dating might like make profiles to see if they match with each other and then it turns out they don't match at all because your website intentionally sabotages relationships yeah. and then they're like they're like why don't we match but it's because they do match and then they feel bad or if it's a really bad relationship and they don't match at all they'll match on your website and they'll be like oh <laughs> there's a black mirror episode really, um, where People it's not like every Black Mirror yes. episode. <laughs> well, it really isn't going with the Utopia, but they live in a world. Wow, they live in a world. Okay, so I'm just trying to fix this because this is a problem. I'm just, I'm just... This is just a conversation between two computer science majors. Um, sorry. <laughs> no, it's really fucking sorry. <laughs> so basically, um, it, they live in a world where you always find your perfect match. And it's a perfect computer algorithm that finds it for you. So basically, I don't know if everyone watched this, but it's not that good of an episode. Does it turn out that so, all of the perfect matches are actually androids? No. But. Okay. Because I have heard. Up, you end up with a perfect match. You end up I've read person. something like that. Yeah. The algorithm forces you to date these people for an arbitrary amount of time. Or what you think is arbitrary. The algorithm knows it's good. But sometimes you'll have a year long. You'll date this person for like a year and you'll hate them. And sometimes you'll date this person for 10 minutes and you'll love them. Um, but whatever it happens, it happens. And then by the end of it, these two people are matched up. They really love each other. And they're matched up for like six months. And after six months, they're like split up. And then they're matched again for like a week. And then they're matched again for like a year. And then they're told they're not perfect matches. And so by the end of it, they run away together. And the twist, they were, it was all an app. They were simulated in an app. And the dating app simulates you a thousand times with your partner and sees what percent of the time you run away with your partner. And in this, and for them, they, they ran away 99.8% of the time. So they were 99.8% match. Wow. But if you never run away with your partner because you don't like them, then you're going to be 0% match. It was all a simulation, like basically real people, because they were super simulated. I don't know. <laughs> Neat. Ice! Ice. the home stretch. Although I have to drive so far, I don't think I'm going to beat this in an hour and a half. I feel like really optimized you could beat this in under an hour. Yeah. It would be hard. It'd have to be like everything's perfect. 
Or find some glitch. Yeah. <laughs> but even with that, who knows? Fresh mind. You know what's the crazy thing? I've been playing this game at obviously a very accelerated pace than you would normally play it. Yeah. But like an Overwatch match is like 45 minutes. So it's like I've played two Overwatch matches. 45 minutes. Yeah. Are you gonna finish it? Not that long, but they're pretty long. I don't know. Can I do this in three minutes? I'm not sure. I have literally, I'm almost done. I have to get back to the banana. I don't think so. I have to get back to... It's just I have to travel to two spots, basically. Um, I'm going to travel first to this island, just to activate the final thing, which will open the portal. And then I have to get to the portal. And can I do that in two minutes? Probably not. Gonna beat it before two hours for sure. <laughs> Probably before 140. Probably before 135 to be honest. But 130, that would be a little insane from where I am now. However, if I hadn't wasted 10 minutes trying to find something. <laughs> I'm bitter about that. I'm so bitter about that. <laughs> Because, like, I always almost accidentally drive into that giant pit, and then the one time I need to find the giant pit, I, like, missed it and oh, went the all the way around. The game? Uh, not the hole you're thinking of. The, uh, in the ocean, there's the gentle giant layer, which is a kind of giant air bubble deep in the water. So, like, when I'm traveling in the water, sometimes I'll almost drive into it by accident. Because um, it's right in the path I usually take. But then when I actually needed to get there to get the Gentle Giants monument at half an hour in, I couldn't find it. Three sixty. That was a lot of three sixties. Well, I got that before the for 130, which I did not Brilliant. think was going to happen. So now it all comes down to getting to this portal. I'm not even completely going in the right direction. Now I am. I've determined from my last playthrough that this is the best way to get to it. Go, go, go. It's the final stretch. It's the final countdown. Well, that was really dumb. <laughs> this went straight up with no momentum to go anywhere else. Go, go, go.
I see the portal. There it is. Job, soldier. Thanks for playing. I will look back and figure out what that actually was. <laughs>